Yo, we're out here at SneakerCon, day one just completed, and I wanted to show you guys my display. I know I'm gonna be making more videos in the future, but I wanted to give you guys an update, and if you plan on coming tomorrow, either way, let's talk in, let's get into the shoes, because I know everybody's been asking about this stuff. So we're gonna start from the right side and work our way left, and I'll just give you guys a little bit of stories, a little bit of reasoning why I packed them and brought them for display, all those different things. But before you get into that, do you wanna show what's on feet? What's on feet? Oh yeah, we gotta show them what's on, oh wait, hold on, let me get a bucket. Even. So we're rocking the Gator ones today, low tops. Um, I made a review about them not that long ago. Got the Gator on the inside, got the satin right there. The shoe is fire. If you guys haven't seen these before, make sure you guys go check out the full review on the channel. They see these shoes? Okay, let's get into the video. All right, so on this side, Michigan Force. Got a couple extra pairs. This is a 12 and a half. I'm actually selling these or trading them. Don't need them anymore. So if anybody wants these, Hit me up, but I prefer to just get rid of them now because it just makes life easier. Also, the Michigan 6s, as you guys know, I doubled up on those by kind of accident. So I'm getting rid of the second pair or, you know, just a trade. If anybody wants to buy them, great, but I like doing trades and stuff, so it's fun. Now, so we get into the organs or the, yeah, we'll get into the organs real quick. I brought the Oregon 4s, the green Oregon 5s, you know, hometown, gotta love it. We got the black and the white version right here. And then we got the Duckman 5s. Another dope shoe, I wanted to display those. Just kind of wanted to bring some of the older, you know, the beginning times of the Oregon PEs, which is why I brought the Oregon 9s. And I brought the Oregon State 9s right here. And I know we, we skipped over the Oregon 7s right here, but that's another dope one. Now, when it comes to the college PEs, I didn't know what to do. I wanted to bring a little variety. So I decided to go with ones, cause I know a lot of people like ones. And I like sixes, so we brought sixes. So we brought matching sets. Um, this one in particular, obviously, yes, I'm getting trying to trade, but we got Florida Gator 1s, Florida Gator 6s, we got UNC 1s, UNC 6s, love the, these two, man, both of these are crazy. Uh, Oklahoma 6s, I brought the Oklahoma 4s, but I, I was thinking about wearing these tomorrow. Let me know what you guys think if I should wear these tomorrow, or I'll just wear like, I don't know, I was just gonna wear like some, my Travis Scott's or something, I don't know, just chilling tomorrow low key. Oklahoma 1s right here. Uh, Red Octobers, everybody looks at them from this angle and they think that they're dead stock, but I've worn these like maybe like six or eight times uh, throughout the years. So they're still wearable. I love it. The paint looks really good. I keep these things really clean. Uh, next up, what we got? Louis Vuitton Air Force One. Uh, you guys saw these. I did a mystery box video and it was a $500,000 mystery box. I said I was going to buy a pair of shoes from the video. And uh, this is the shoe that I got. I got the blue Louis Vuittons. This is size 12 and a half. They are really, really hard to find. Everybody here at the event, they've been trying to buy a lot of these shoes, but I'm like obviously not selling, but this one, a lot of people has been asking me about them. They're still not for sale. I'm excited to wear these someday. So I'm looking forward to that. v -Lone Air Force One. I've definitely got a lot of wears out of these, but they look really good. They're still clean. So I like this shoe. Uh, cool story behind this shoe. I can't tell you guys the story about how I got them. One day I will. It's hilarious. You guys are probably not even gonna believe it. So right here, what else we got? Oh, Ray Allen 12. This was my first ever PE right here. This is what I got started with way back in the day. I got these in like 2007 or 2008 or something. It was a long time ago uh, when I got these. And I think these were made in like 2004 or something. I gotta check the tag on it. Uh, another one that I love to rock a lot, Gary Payton, Air Jordan 12. As you can see, I got dirt on them they're they're all messed up a little bit but it's okay because i like to wear my shoes and i clean them up after i do wear them so they still look free uh, they still look clean next one allen houston flight posit right here these things are crazy for all of you if you know you know type situation this is going to be one of those shoes i love these i thought it was something dope to switch up give a different element bring some stuff back nostalgic uh, especially for nike basketball back in the days so I'm sure a lot of people are going to be raving about those in the comment section as well. We got more people walking by with the wheels over here. Come on, man. Messing up my video. <laughs> All right. Next up, Reggie Miller Air Jordan 15. I love 15s. I have a bunch of different versions. This one in particular is my size. I like these a lot. It's dope to have a Reggie Miller PE. We don't see those that often. Got the Reggie Miller 19s. Got some other stuff in the collection as well. So I thought this was something cool to switch it up and give people something a little bit more obscure as well. Mike Bibby, everybody loves Bibby. We got the Bibby 9 low. I recently showed these in a video, so I was like, oh, let's pull these back out. 
Um, I know they don't really get too much light anymore because Bibi doesn't play. And then we got all these new college PEs and the new players and their PEs don't really leak out that much anymore. So it's kind of fun to bring that other stuff back. Next one right here, Blackout Air Jordan 5 sample. This was made to wear test the air unit in the midsole on this shoe right here. And then they just did a blackout on the upper. It was just a wear test sneaker. It started getting out. I ended up getting a pair and I still wear those shoes a lot. I used to wear them way more back in the day. Um, now it's like a $2,000 shoe or something like that. And it's just an all by five, but it's a sleeper. Not that many people know about it. So again, I wanted to just bring something that not everybody knew all the shoes in the booth and stuff. So get something for people to talk about and ask questions and you know, those different things. Last but not least, we got the Grant High School special right here. This was a, my coaching staff had these at my high school and I had to get a pair. And I finally got these after I, when I was like in college and this was a great shoe. I've gotten some crazy offers for those, but again, it's just for my collection. It's that it hit home type thing. So just repping, you know, like hometown, my first PE, home, you know, another hometown type shoe, all the, you know, college graduation, you name it. So many different memories and stories. And again, I can elaborate on all these and to, you know, give you more in-depth stuff uh, as needed. But this is the setup. We got 27 pairs of shoes. And also we got to take it to this side real quick. I know it's kind of dirty, but the, you know, the vents over it, look, look at over there. Like everybody's tearing down and all that stuff. So we had merch, we sold out of a couple things. We're running low on inventory. And again, if you guys see anything, check out the link down below in the description, shopdnashow.com, or I have all the items pinned below the video as well if you guys want to shop directly on there. And this is some new stuff we got. We got the sneaker department hoodies. We got the Ain't Got em hoodies. These are some previous shops. I got a few sizes left on these. And then this is running low. We're almost out of these right here on the tie-dye DNAs. And then Ain't Got em, so we're running low on these. This is literally the last shirt right here. And then the sneaker department, these been selling like hotcakes as well. So we got a couple left and then a few on display over there. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at the booth. You know, we're kind of just testing this out, figuring it out, trying to make this happen. I want to go to more sneaker cons and display different shoes each time and give you guys, you know, different perspectives and stories and stuff. So I'm excited. I think that we already got so many plans for the next booth. Oh my gosh. So where's, what's the next event? Vegas? I think Vegas. Yo. Pull up to Vegas, that's all I'm saying. But either way, we're gonna have more fun tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And man, shout out to everybody that I met and saw today for the first time or saw again. All the people that cop merch, all the people that support the channel. Hey, if you guys are watching this video, I appreciate you guys. I love y'all, thank you. And uh, we need to go get some food. So let's go ahead and break this stuff down. Go get some food and I'll see y'all tomorrow. I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. My DNA, hey, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware of. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA